Oh, hey there. My name's Dave and I'm a financial coach. I just finished vacuuming the house, so that also makes me a fantastic husband. Today, we're gonna talk about net worth. What is a net worth? Well, it's certainly not our gross worth. <laughs> Your net worth. It's something that you really need to keep track of because believe it or not, this is the number that you need to focus on to see if you are being financially successful. The best-selling authors on finance, the multimillionaires, the billionaires, the number that they say for you to focus on is not your credit score, but your net worth. Now, I recently did a video, it'll appear somewhere, about a credit score and why you don't even need to have a credit score to be financially secure and successful. So let's talk about your net worth. Now you'll say, David, I don't have a net worth because I'm not an athlete with a big record deal and I'm not a musician who's won the Super Bowl. No, no, no. A net worth is not something that only rich people have. A net worth is something that everybody has. But before we go into the specifics of what a net worth is and how to figure yours, let's go ahead right now and hit that like button very gently. Just a little tap. Don't smash it. Don't break it and destroy it. That's so wrong. Figuring out your net worth is actually very easy. It's all of your assets minus your liabilities. Another way of putting it, what you own minus what you owe. For example, if you have about $250,000 worth of assets, that's like your house, your cars, your property, uh, things that you own in the house like musical instruments and jewelry, things that are valuable and things that may not be as valuable. If all of that adds up to 250,000, that's your assets. And then you take your debt, your mortgage, your car payments, any payments you're making on student loans and credit cards, anything like that, and you take that number and subtract it. So if your total debt is $200,000, in this case, your net worth is 50 grand. Now your net worth is gonna vary based on your age and your financial progress. So it's a really good test to kind of see where you're at financially based on that number. If you're 21, 22 years old and your net worth is a couple thousand dollars, that's okay. You're probably just starting out. You don't have a lot of stuff and you hopefully you don't have a lot of debt. So a $2,000 net worth to $10,000 net worth, that's not a big deal. That's fine. However, if you're 62 and your net worth is $2,000, you don't have any savings, you got a lot of debt, something to think about and that'll let you know, I need to get busy and I need to start working on this. Notice as we're discussing your net worth, a credit score does not play into this at all. I could spend all day comparing these two, but then remember, your net worth determines how well you are doing with money, not your credit score. So what's the quickest way to try to figure out your net worth? Is there a calculator or something online that we can use? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's go to the computer and find out. All right, so here we are on the internet, the webs. What we're gonna do is look at a calculator that'll help us figure out, get you a good rough idea of what your net worth is. And then we'll use some uh, fictitious numbers and some assumptions to see what this does. All right, so let's, what we're gonna do, is just go to Google and type in net worth calculator, bam. And then I usually will go down to the one that says Chris Hogan 360, my net worth calculator. What is my net worth? All right, so again, assets, liabilities, what you, what you own minus what you owe. So assets, liabilities. So real estate. So let's suppose somebody has $150,000 worth of real estate. They've got about $1,000 in their checking account. Oh, they've got about uh, $10,000 sitting in a savings account. They've got about $50,000, ah, $50,000 in their retirement. And we'll say they have about uh, $25,000 worth of cars and roughly about $5,000 worth of other uh, jewelry and items, gun collections, things that are valuable in the house. All right, so we're looking at right now a net worth of $241,000, but we gotta have, oh, I froze, look at that. 
Let's just go ahead and kill me. All right. So liabilities. So let's go ahead. Let's say they've got a real estate, but they've got a mortgage of $100,000. Uh, they do have some credit card debt. They've got about a uh, $3,000 balance on their credit cards. They have, oh, let's say they don't have any personal loans, but they do have about $30,000 in student loans, and they owe about uh, $20,000 on their cars. And they just got a bunch of other stuff going on that we'll say about maybe some, just some other things about, well, let's, let's be nice here, 2000 All right, so now you do calculate net worth. Boink. Their net worth is about $86,000 in the, oh, what have I done? Okay, so I'm back. So their net worth is going to be about $86,000 in this case. So not bad, depending on their age and what their goals are. They're off to a good start. Now, somebody who is trying to be debt-free and they're trying to achieve financial independence, they're going to want to take out these debts as quickly and as fast as possible. That way, this number will climb up because they don't have any liabilities or very little. So let's take a look at that. Now, somebody who has a net worth of a million dollars, that doesn't mean that they have a million dollars. It could be that, but remember, someone could have a million dollars, but have a million dollars in debt, and their net worth is zero. So a, a millionaire is somebody whose net worth is a million dollars or more. So it would look something like this. Let's suppose they had a $300,000 paid for house, and they had about $1,000 in their checking, and about $30,000 in an emergency fund. They had about seven hundred thousand dollars in a 401k they owned about twenty thousand dollars worth of cars and about ten thousand dollars worth of random assets in the house now they have no debt so they don't have any real estate no mortgage no credit card no nothing so you will go ahead and just calculate that and you can see that they have a net worth of over a million dollars that is the definition of a millionaire. So there you have it. That's how you figure out your net worth. Play around with those numbers and try to figure out where you should be, where you need to be, and align those numbers up with what your goals are. That should help you figure out where you need to be in your net worth. All right, guys, tried to keep it short and sweet for you. Thanks for watching. Again, hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video.